Here he comes. Hey. <laughs> he didn't get away. A little bit bigger. <laughs> Kim and James here. We're going to have a very fun adventure today. A little bit different because we're going to go on a boat and we're going to get some fish and then we're going to maybe eat some fish. But first, we got to go catch the fish. So we're going this way. Introduce yourself. This, Hi. Is, this is our first mate. I'm JP. JP is here. First mate. First mate. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty nice so far. Good morning. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm still sleepy though. <laughs> All right, so this is Captain Allen. Hey. Hey, Allen, how's it going? Good. So Great. you're going to take us on an adventure? <laughs> it's always an adventure. <laughs> and then who's that pretty girl behind you? Amy. The deckhand. The deckhand. The deckhand. <laughs> and the first mate. <laughs> I can see me falling in. I forgot my other shoes. So these will have to do. It's called a what? A uh, ZF. Okay. Don ZF. And you're running these two? Yeah, 500 horsepower back there. Oh my gosh. 500 horsepower. All right. It's a steamboat. Yeah, and, it's, and the name of the boat is a Sierra Cub 2. A what? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know, you feel me needing drown are you? <laughs> sure am. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> A lightweight? <laughs> Our adventure is beginning now. This is it. We're heading off on the, uh, the river to get out to the Gulf, right? Going to the Gulf of Mexico. It's just amazing going out there because we were 15 miles into the Gulf, but altogether we traveled, I guess, about 50 miles to get out there, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess it takes about 35 miles to get just out to the Gulf, right? Yeah. Hoochalabufa River right here that goes that way. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but that's the way it's spelled. Did you throw it silly when you were home? Uh, uh, I guess that's about seven. Down the westbound. I, was, I got sailing lessons instead of uh, karate lessons, I guess. <laughs> Quite so bad. Remember Grasshopper Island was loaded with boats when we came back? Yeah. We didn't get any shots of that though. I couldn't hear what you were saying. Do you remember what you were saying? I was saying I want some fish. <laughs> I want some fish in the boat. There's a lot of boats out because everybody was fishing. It's such a pretty day. And the water was like glass. Oh man, it was amazing. We thought it was going to be really stormy because of the first storm that popped up in the morning which delayed us by about an hour. By the time we got out there it was just beautiful. Captain Al had a super cool navigation system. That's what we need. It's a, it's a school of fish. That's right below us, right? Yeah. We need that in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here he comes! Hey! <laughs> he didn't get away! A little bit bigger. It's an old shrimp boat. And it's because the fish hang around there, right? Yeah. We saw turtles and we saw crabs swimming. Hey. There's the hammerhead shark. That was so exciting. We were about to take a dip in the water and then there it was. It wasn't as big as Jaws though. We didn't need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the fish we caught were too small to keep actually. Yeah, the rules in the Gulf are for the redfish are um, they have to be 16 inches or larger or you have to throw them back for the next time. And so we caught a lot of fish but we had to throw them back and we only kept uh, the limit which is two per person 
There were five of us, so we had ten fish. So what are we doing here? Going broke. Going broke. <laughs> 300 <laughs> gallons of premium <laughs> brew, right? Right. Those ten fish are yeah, going to We're going to see how much those fish cost now. <laughs> Island girl. I think Alan caught the biggest ones, didn't he? Amy did, I think. <laughs> I think Amy will, will argue with you that she <laughs> caught the biggest. Then we filleted them. Alan took them out, put them on some ice. We had the crazy saw. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> that saw is amazing. That's right. And he, I wouldn't even tried this. My thumb would have been missing. But he, he, this wasn't his first time to fillet fish, obviously. This is a special saw that can actually cut through wood. It's an electric fillet knife, especially made for filleting fish. Especially hard ones like this. Yep. Hard boned. Captain Al and Amy have a really nice camper and they invited us over and they were going to cook the fish that we caught that morning. Uh, the trip today we made 102 miles is how far we went around the trip. <laughs> uh, we did good. We caught a lot of fish. We saw a bunch of wildlife out there today. We saw like turtles and crabs and a big hammerhead shark too. Yeah. It's, you don't see them out there so all the time. We didn't do any ago. swimming today. I would have gone swimming. <laughs> Now how are we going to cook this okay, fish? So we, I've taken the the, uh, the the bloodline out. So it's like the vein. Huh? And you know, when I was talking to you about cleaning, you got to you got to cut, make sure there's no little bones in it. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's always a danger there is one, but uh, but the bloodline I cut them out, and and, uh, and then you just have the That's pretty white meat, and just a little of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this was swimming this morning, <laughs> but I. So I'm just gonna, being that we're at the camp and don't have the full complement of spices and whatnot, we're gonna do like some Tony Satchery, some uh, garlic, you know, some Italian dressing, and we'll make a uh, mix of butter, of course. Butter. And put, and put, you gotta have butter. It's okay, you need to come over here if you're gonna be talking. What is this next So, what are we gonna have with it? We're going to have burrs and potatoes, and we are going to cheat and have Caesar salad kit. It's not cheating. <laughs> oh, it's the kit. That's why it's cheating. The sauce gets a little smoke flavor in it, and it, it'll be good. All right. So that's Sounds it. so good. It's going to be. It's going to be good. We cooked steaks last night, so it's getting kind of that flavor from that. Anyway, we're fixed to put fish on. See that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Seasoned up and now on the grill. Now on the grill. Oh, wow, look at this sauce bubbling. Since there is butter and whatnot, and go ahead and these aren't going to take long to cook. And I put a little coating on it on this side. Mm. And then when we uh, flip it over, it's ready to go. All right, so I got that. I'm really going to flip it right now. So that's down. Season side is down now. Already. And now we're gonna we're gonna put this on. We're gonna start seasoning the second side. Right, and then we're gonna you can hear it sizzling. Right, and then we're gonna shut the top. You know, I don't think these snappers would mind dying at all if they knew how good they got gonna taste. <laughs> They probably would just jumped in the boat. They can eat how they good they can taste. If they knew they were gonna have butter and garlic. I'm gonna let them cook a, a couple minutes and then flip them again. And uh, so both sides get a little char to it. All right. Red snappers sure smelled good coming into the to the trailer, right? They're smelling good. Fresh grilled red snapper. And the gator says, "What?" Butter and Italian seasoning. This is the finest snapper available. <laughs> this is the finest snapper available out of the Gulf of Mexico. Amy had made salad and made the potatoes mm. and she had put together a crab sauce. I've been waiting for this moment all day. Twelve hours ago this fish was swimming in the Gulf of Mexico and today he's going to be in my tummy. Swimming. Mm. <laughs> it's probably no good. Mm. <laughs> I lulled, lulled her in it being good. She's so tired and hungry, it, it doesn't matter what was on there. No, it's <laughs> white, 
it's um the, the meat is firm but it's still juicy and tender and garlic butter <laughs> crab meat yeah. What's to say? Uh, what do you say? So good. What can you say? I like it. <laughs> Lump crab meat and butter on top of the fresh fish. Spiky and white and deliciously juicy. You can't compare this to anything mm -hmm. at a restaurant. No. And just be aware there could be a bone in there just because Amy filleted them. You <laughs> <laughs> should not. Conclusion: you Never ever get anything fresher. Yeah, you're fishing in the Gulf this morning. You lay your fish, season your fish, and cook your fish. Very good. The next episode is going to be part two of Captain Allen's adventure. Y'all went on a fishing trip the other day. We cooked in nice fillets, but these are the backs. You got a fillet and a fillet on the other side, and you cut it off, cut it off. And then I just basically on these have Tony's and garlic. Y'all know the deal on that. <laughs> that was pretty good last time. Yeah. He drew the great piece and stuff the other night. Yeah. Yeah, so we let them cook. They, they start floating good. And they'll be ready. If you like the video, hit a, give, us a, give us a thumbs up, share, and hit subscribe. This is Treasure Hunt Travelers. Signing off. Signing off. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the Ring. little bell. <laughs>